The gathering of experts. Some had even travelled halfway around the world. Their destination, the beech forests near Westport. And the unlikely object of all their attention, fungi. It's the sky blue mushroom. It's kind of the ho holy grail of mushroom collectors. Every year they do it. Beautiful oh. little mushroom, eh? Yeah. The experts, the enthusiasts, all out searching. Oh, there's a group of rushlers here. They're looking yeah. for fungi, the silent workers decomposing wood and leaves. Normally out of sight, warm, moist conditions mean it's showtime. This is just the right time to be shedding your spores around to the wind. No one's too sure, but there could be up to 22,000 different fungi in New Zealand. Only about a quarter of them have been properly identified. We've got so much we just haven't even documented yet. We don't know what's there. So these kind of things are a chance to get out there and have a look and see what is there, document it and, and begin to understand. I mean, we're only scratching the surface. Experts admit more often than not, they can't name what they find. Three quarters of what you pick up could be an undescribed species, something new to science. I mean, it's part of the challenge is coming out here and finding all these different things. 60 enthusiasts took part in this year's fungal foray. They've come from all around the world. Yeah, we come 15,000 miles. Yeah, it's a once in a lifetime trip and we, we just had to make this trip at this time of year to come and join in on this, this fungus festival. The challenge now to identify and catalogue their finds. It's all part of improving the national oh, well, database. Well, well. And of course, oh, yeah. everyone has their favourite. I mean, there's so many beautiful fungi here, but this one, uh, it's sort of, I don't know, it's just cool because it's slimy, really. <laughs> yeah, so this one's got uh, a slimy cap and a slimy stem. One thing's for sure, with so much more to discover, fungi fanatics will be out in force again next year. Vicky Wilkinson-Baker, One News.